A couple of tough, close losses for the South Dakota men over the weekend here at home against North Dakota State and then on the road at Frost Arena against South Dakota State here to talk about both those games is head coach Todd Lee. And, Todd, uh, North Dakota State, much like they did that first meeting in, in Fargo, it was a tight game, and then they go on a run to close the half. 14-4 this time, end up leading by seven. So what did you see in that span that allowed them to pull away a little bit? Well, we took a couple quick shots, um, and unfortunately it was our – uh, senior guards, uh, Cody took a couple uh, quick ones, and Tristan shot that air ball early in the in the shot clock. And the game plan: when you play North Dakota State, they uh, they're going to run offense, mm -hmm. and they're going to take time off the clock. And if they don't get anything, they're going to get the ball to Vinny Shahid and run a ball screen, and uh, then he gets something. So you know the game plan was um, to run offense. I can't, we cannot be in and out of possessions and be empty uh, because against them, uh, they make you play defense all night. And uh, so that was the game plan. We had a few possessions like that, uh, and then we had a couple turnovers, and it was exactly like the game up there. Now, we had about an eight- or nine-point lead up there, and then it ended up that was a bigger run for them. But we go into halftime down seven, the exact you know, uh, deficit we had up at North Dakota State. That's not, you know, that's that's not insurmountable by any stretch. But we, you don't want to be playing from behind against North Dakota State. You mentioned Vinny Shahid, and he's one of the top players in the Summit League. He's been scoring at a really high level uh, so far this year. He did a lot of damage to you in that first half. You guys were much tighter on him though after the break. So what what adjustments did you make to slow him down? Uh, he's tough to guard. Uh, TP was a little more physical with him. Um, and we also did a better job of, of defending the ball screen with him and mixed up our coverages a little bit. You don't want to give him a steady diet of the same look. Uh, he's just too good a player for that. So those were the two things we made adjustments on. It looked like they might have a chance to pull away about midway through that second half, and then Cody Kelly goes on a little personal run to get you right back in the game, scored eight straight points. Uh, you know, he's the kind of guy that can in inject some life at any time. He certainly did in that moment. Um, he steps steps up and makes two threes, and he makes that drive and layup on the baseline, scores eight straight. And then Stan had the and one, and we got a one. We have a one point lead. Um, and as we talk about, and I don't, you know, we don't want to beat a dead horse, but we go back to the the end of that first half, you know, and and uh, instead of now being up six or eight, you're up one. Now it's a one possession game. Uh, to North Dakota State's credit, they answered that run. Uh, they answered everything you threw at them all night long, ended up going on to win it uh, by that score of 77-74. And a tight one, hit some big shots, hit some big free throws down the stretch uh, to get out of here with a win, which only two teams now have done so far this year. But then Saturday you head on the road for what you knew was going to be another tough game. South Dakota State had a chance to clinch at least to share the Summit League title. And uh, Jack got on you early a little bit, up nine, but – thought a couple of key things in that first half that allowed you to get back in the game. One, you put Stan Amude on Douglas Wilson, slowed him down considerably, and the other was great bench production for you in that first half. The bench was really good. Tassos came in and, and uh, scored six points. I thought uh, Ty Chisholm did a great job uh, on the boards and, and getting downhill and scoring. Brandon Armstrong stepped up um, and, and Hunter Goodrich. So the bench uh, really did a good job for us, and that's why I felt like we had the lead at half. Yep, 34-32 at the break. Second half, felt like the Jacks really made a point of trying to hurt you inside. They they got to the rim. Not only that, but they got a lot of and ones, and, and that's what, uh, you know, really what fueled their offense there after the break. Four of them in the second half. They had four and ones, and, and uh, those were tough, tough plays. Uh, and uh, you know we, you're right. They attacked zone one, and and they they pounded it inside, and they were driving it to the basket, um, and that's where they, you know, they they they're a very good uh, three point shooting team. But you'd take what they did against us, you know, any night. But we didn't do uh, a good enough job of defending uh, in zone one at the basket. Individually for them, Noah Friedel really was the killer in this game. That second half, he scores for 21 points out of his 26. All came after the half. But, uh, you know, he's certainly a talented freshman, uh, a guy that you guys clamped down pretty well the first time around. But this time, uh, as he's done for a lot of the league, he was able to hit some big shots. Yeah, he uh, made some big shots, tough shots. A couple of the threes he hit were really tough. He hit one baseline out of bounds coming flying off a pin down and and uh he's a very good player uh plays with a lot of confidence we didn't we didn't we guarded him well here obviously uh we didn't we didn't have an answer for him up there 
85-80 is the final of South Dakota State Selvages. The split with you on the season. Uh, that is a third straight loss. you got one left in the regular season here at home against North Dakota. You'll honor your seniors that day against the Fighting Hawks. But obviously a, a very pivotal game for a lot of reasons. You want to get a win to close the regular season, but you also want to lock up that number three seed for the Summit League tournament, which is coming up. To get a win, we've got a big week. You know, we do have some guys banged up. Cody's still battling the shoulder. Hags is battling his ankle. Uh, we're not 100%, so maybe the week off will help. Um, we'll have time to spend on us, uh, which is good. Um, we get ready. We have some uh, time to get ready for that game. But we've got to send the seniors out the right way. You always want to do that on, on senior night. And, and uh, we're playing for seeding. You want to get a win before you go into the league tournament. So it's a big week for us. All right. Well, good luck to you against North Dakota, Todd. Uh, thanks for your time, as always, and we'll catch up again next week. Thanks, Jay.